Yo, what's up everyone? Uh, in one week, basically, next weekend, when you're seeing this, I think. Um, yeah, next weekend there will be the EMEA Regionals, where I will be competing to hopefully qualify for the World Cup. So today, I'm gonna try out if I'm, yeah, if I'm ready for that, if I'm ready for that. With this map, Extreme Region Guessing 10 features 10 of the biggest countries in the world, and I'm gonna try to head streak this, so get 20k on every seed or more and yeah we're just gonna try how far we can take this um yeah it's a nice map by finn he will also be competing and yeah it looks like we have a good start sulawesi selatan do we have we have makassar written here so could assume we are in makassar that would be nice i want to change the compass um yeah yeah, so we just got the biggest countries here, which are the most important, obviously, for um, not losing duels. So that's a good start. 20k very much in reach. Oh, and we get a Kazakhstan. This is very interesting because we have like sunset-ish coverage, but I don't think I know the road. Um, does not feel super familiar to me. I had one thought. I don't know the car meta for Kazakhstan because I think it's not yeah I think it's not that important um, if stuff just looks distinct anyways my one thought that I had was like this area kind of lines up so I might just send that um, west of Karaganda there's a few roads I think some of them have sunset they could for sure look like this uh, I don't think it's deep fall so I don't think it's east um, but it could be in this whole area where it's a little bit greener, I guess. The red soil is interesting, I'll keep it in mind. Okay, it's one of the random roads west of Astana. Not something that I think you should know. So that's fine. Alright, we got a Russia here. I think this is Tomsk with um, red car, red car in Russia with summer gen 4, but basically, I mean, yeah, I put you in this area or like Surgut or East Tomsk, maybe Ulan Ude, that's like the, the main reasons and then we have Rutsay. Rutsay is the river. Maybe we can even find that. Probably not. I don't think this river will be marked. But the red car in Tomsk is in the eastern part, so this is the Chulim River. I mean yeah. Don't think this is entirely findable. Uh let's just zoom into it. It's the Kia. Um, yeah, I don't think this is getting found. Yeah, yeah. Um, one last zoom. Rekaitaka. Okay, I think I'm just gonna send it here. Oh, it is so good. Wow. Okay, it was a little, it was a bit sandy, so it, I guess it makes sense. But um, yeah, I just saw the power line and how green it was, and was like. So good is usually, uh, I would say, a little less forested than Tomsk, so that's why I thought there. Now we have to worry about our score. We have to get a good guess here in India. The nice India shit cam. Uh, maybe we have some poll info. I think it's a Chile poll, with um, this being not all the way up, so that should be Andhra Pradesh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a, the poll has a one inlet there, so I think we can get a decent score here. Andhra is a big state, though, so... My region guess would be somewhere in the flat part because we don't see any palm trees. I hope it's here. I hope I'm not um, misreading the pole, which I very well could be. Yeah, but I'll go in the flat part of Andra. See, it is the first flat part of Andra where I clicked. But we are on track to get to 20k because with these rock walls and like thatched roofs, this should be Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. So I'm just gonna send that in. And that secures our hit streak of one. One Russia blunder, but um, it's fine. We managed to managed to get it. So in Brazil here, Pindamon Angaba, Pindamon Angaba. Yeah, I, that was definitely a terrible pronunciation, but whatever. Next to a big highway, but this is pretty hard to region guess. I would say there's an error code, a little too far away for me to see. Um, Okay, we have like some eucalyptus plantations making me think of like Minas or something like that. Uh, it's a huge highway east-west. 
I think honestly you just click like somewhat between Sao Paulo and Minas because it's probably like I mean it could be Goyas as well I guess oh is that a piranha no it's not okay piranha pines would put us more south but um I think this area makes sense uh okay maybe it's further south maybe it's further west that's possible I'll just click around here okay yeah that's just Sao Paulo that is fine we got the 4k that we need on average. Um, these are giant cardon cacti. Very common on Baja California Peninsula of Mexico. And we also have this blur, which is also very common on this peninsula. If this is Baja Sur or Baja Nord, I don't know. But I think it's more Sur. Whereabouts with this lineup? It's with Mountains East, so... I spotted this, which looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, that could work, but it's kind of risky because it's so far south. Might as well be here, that's very possible. Um, big Mountains East, we could also be up here. I think you have more cacti in Baja Sur, so I'm gonna try this. Uh, to see if it works out or not. It is the right stretch of road, it did line up pretty nicely, so... Um, kind of expected, that was a nice guess though. Alright, when Russia... And we have volcanoes. So obviously thinking Kamchatka here. Um, paved road, there's a river, uh, like a valley. So this should be like, should be another right stretch of road possibly. Um, hmm. I'm not, not immediately seeing it here. Maybe, oh, this, this lines up. Because we did have the bridge there. But, okay, the bridge is also on the same road angle, so we won't actually be there. Um, yeah, if I can't see it, I'm just going to send this, because this is going to be close enough. Honestly, I feel like it's probably just going to be in this valley somewhere, so might as well send this. Okay, it is in this valley. We don't see the bridge, but that is fine. 4967 is a good score. And we are in Argentina now. Okay. It's kind of swampy, marshy, which makes me think for the east. We also have plantations, which kind of confirms my first vibe that this would be like Entre Rios or like Corrientes. Um, yeah, not much to say about this because it could be like literally this whole area next to it. But um, yeah, my vibe was just here. So I'm going to try over here and it is over there on a good score here. Let's see if we can bring this home in round five in Brazil. And we have a round pole. Um, what does this mean? Probably thinking Espirito Santo here. If, uh, but that is mostly because of the shape of the hills, like these round, bigger hills. Um, very common in Espirito Santo. Uh, I, yeah, I think I'm just, I just want to send that, to be honest. There's nothing more. Like the hills are the best clue here and Espirito also has quite a lot of round poles. Rio does as well, Sao Paulo does as well. Uh, I just want to send like a little southern because it could be Rio. Oh, it's actually just Sao Paulo, that's crazy. So, ruining our good score but hatch streak of two, that is all right. Okay, Russia with white car. We are in Primorsky Cry here, I think. Red soil as well. Um, everything fits. We have a lot of birches though, so we wouldn't be in Primorsky, I think. We would be a little further north. Primorsky is this one. Um, there's not a lot of birches here. This is quite a lot more warm. So I'm thinking maybe this road. Um, maybe this highway here. Makes sense. It could be further west as well, but it's definitely in this area, I would say. Right stretch. Perfect. All right. And we get our first Australia of the day. These... Uh, interesting curbs. I'm not sure if those are the Western Australian ones. I think they are not. No, these are just ditches. So, mm, these ditches are kind of common in South Australia or Queensland. At least, I think that's the case. More mountains, so I'm thinking more Queensland here. Um, Brisbane could be a good shout for this location. This is also not a Stoby pole, so South Australia feeling very unlikely. Um, yeah, more poles there, less stobies. Okay, so our main problem is that this plate looks blue. Um, Queensland does not have blue plates. 
So, yeah, Queenside would have red text on the plate, which is kind of throwing me off a little bit here. Um, it could just be New South Wales, I guess, but they usually just have black text, so the blue doesn't also, doesn't really fit either. I, and WA, sadly, Western Australia does have this, but I don't think these are actual Western Australian curbs. So, and also I think the mountains are too big, so I'm just gonna go for Northern New South Wales, hope that is all right. It's just Canberra. Um, that might explain the plates. Yeah, I did not consider Canberra, but that definitely makes sense. The score is fine, um, but we still need some decent guesses from now on. This is interesting, we should be in the US here. Mm. Yeah, I think everything looks mostly like the US. These should be Southern Pines, I would imagine. Um, a lot of those, they are really tall and like don't have a lot of leaves at the bottom. Um, but no, actually, yeah, I think this is just like southern adjacent. It doesn't look super southern, a little bit sandy because we have, it doesn't look super southern because we have like a mix of trees. There's not only pine, pine trees and also it's kind of hilly. Maybe I'm thinking of Tennessee with that, Kentucky, maybe Arkansas or something like that. Let's just see where this is. It is a little further north, but it is in North Carolina, so not a great score either. With uh, two rounds left, and we can only drop 900 points, so this might be tough. We have a Mexico, which is not my best of the big countries, although I practice it quite a lot. PA9 written there, I don't think that means anything. Alright, so we have to go for a really good guess here. Um, if it's just a decent guess, it's not gonna be enough, so I'm gonna try... I don't know, this dense undergrowth. I have like two main areas in mind right now. Um, one of them being like Guerrero or like the southern coastline. The other that I think is way less likely because it's so hilly uh, is Yucatan. But I don't think, I think the soil would fit because it's pretty light. But I think it's just a little too hilly for Yucatan. So I hope it's not there. If it was, it would be easy points if I went there, to be honest. But um, yeah. Maybe it is just there, to be honest. Like, the soil color just looks like over there. Um, it's a hard decision now. A lot of like, random plants growing. It's very tropical. Um, tough, tough round. Also these trees feel very Yucatan. I might just switch it. I mean, like we have to, we have to hit two guesses anyways. I'm, I still think Maybe I like this a little bit more because it's never this hilly really in Yucatan, but like maybe it is and I will definitely get a good score if I go here. If I go here and it's there, then it's over anyway, so I might as well send Yucatan. Let's see where it is. It is Campeche, so that is a good score and we are still in the game. I think we got an Indo here um, because like the other Southeast Asian countries are not on this map. We have what is called a bunker roof. They are not exclusive to Bunker and Belitung, but um, very common there with the r row of tiles on a metal roof, basically. So let's see if we can um, kind of confirm Bunker Belitung here with anything. We have kind of red soil, that would make sense. Uh, we don't have the Bunker unique poles, so that is a little sad. But I think we have to go for it. We only have 400 points to spare. This could easily be anywhere else in Sumatra. Um, with like two bunker roofs here out of three houses, I kind of like my chances of just go, just clicking here and hope it's right. It is close. That is not enough for the hedge streak though. So yeah, next round we have Australia yellow sign post. But oh no, actually they are not on the sign. So. Um, those don't count as yellow signposts, I think. Although, there's another one. So I'm kind of confused here. Mm, we appear to have water to our north. Which is interesting. Alright, so I don't really know what this is yet. Um, struggling to get any concrete vibe from this round. Maybe it's just like Victoria in the bay? Like near Melbourne, something like here, 
might make sense maybe it's just with the spade to the north maybe I mean it could also be WA something like Albany or something maybe just I don't know just Perth adjacent it's possible but I, it just didn't give me WA vibes that much um, little way to confirm it but these not having yellow signposts kind of makes me think it's not WA so I'm just gonna send Vic and it was Vic it was way for the west though but score is fine in Portland we get a gen 1 that should not be on this map um, that is probably Google probably deleted a location that was here before and then it just had to revert to this panel I don't know where we are somewhere in the US I'm not gonna try to guess this based on gen 1 all right and now we have to save our score uh, and I think we can this is this should be new fin Newfoundland I still don't really know how to pronounce that um, with these bins with um, yeah short crossbar poles general rockiness it all fits for a new fee um, yeah I don't know where exactly I'm gonna hedge it in the middle and it is east so we are st above the threshold now um, I'll study visa that is a matter for something I know that we have Hindi do we have like Punjabi windows maybe on the poles um, potentially they look a little bit higher than usual so I mean we can't see them close but I would assume I think the IELTS meta was like Haryana or Chandigarh or something like that so I'm just gonna click like Punjab Haryana border and hope that it's fine it was Punjab so yeah good score very close actually got a little bit lucky with that and we are in Australia to end it off interesting round um, this feels very much like northern Australia and this might still be tricky because I have like two main options in mind one of them being Cairns or like Port Douglas area or like even more north actually like Cooktown that's the Lions then that's funny shout out to check Lions um, the other option would be a random off-road around here maybe but they usually don't get this hilly um, it kind of looks like this though so yeah I'm kind of scared of the Northern Territory or maybe off-roads near Kununurra or something like that in uh, just along this highway there's a lot of off-roads could potentially look like this I feel like my chances in uh, Cooktown are best though so I'm gonna try that sadly it is not correct so no head streak although we played pretty well I would say um, but yeah two out of four so far it's decent but I think we get a quick one going here um, big mountain range west but it looks pretty much like um, we have a lot of farmland so it's not gonna be the dry part so I'm just gonna click uh, yeah maybe a little south of Tucuman let's try this it is quite north I have looked at that road so I should have gotten it it's another arch uh, this one feels quite southern maybe thinking Santa Cruz province I even thought like uh, this area um, around Governador Gregores or even like Esperanza I mean it's not our road angle the road angle is going like this kind of um, yeah I might try this actually although no I don't really like it I might try this yeah let's try that let's see where this actually is quite a bit further north still fine guess okay Australia this time it's redemption time we have the antenna which is very common in the Kakadu National Park if you're in the north so this should be this road here perfect um, Maranhão Brazil let's just send that in we have Maranhão trident poles and Maranhão palms everywhere and we get a Mexico probably because we have single yellow line no black sign back so where in Mexico would this be honestly we're on a good score so I think center hedging might be fine here because I cannot region guess this round quite red soil which would, would make sense for like Jalapa or I don't know how you pronounce it Jalapa maybe um, 
Yeah, maybe it's more south. Maybe it's like up here. That would be bad. Let's see. Ooh, that is close. But yeah, we still get the head streak. It was Chiapas, I think, or Oaxaca. Don't really remember. Um, all right, and we're back in Arch. I'm just gonna play a little bit quicker, like I did last seed, because um, I don't want to make this video too long. I don't know where this is. This doesn't really look like anything to me. Um, vegetation is like a little bit confusing. Might be even. I don't think it's super southern. It's quite hilly, so maybe it's like a random road, like here in the mountains. Maybe it's even more north. I can't tell. Let's see. That was kind of a fine guess. All right. Uh, we got a Mex. Again, Mexico not the best country for me. Mm, got a lot of kind of long grass here. I'm noticing. Maybe that's something. Um, I cannot identify which cactus that is. So I am not quite sure where we are here. It looks kind of more north, I would say. Northwest. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just like Jalisco Nayarit, or maybe it's like even Sonora. You could see that. I kind of like it, to be honest. I think we're going risky here for like it's Sonora or Chihuahua, I guess. Um, let's see if that pays off. It is quite risky, though. Maybe I don't go there. Because it, like, it could even be down here. I am not great at Mexico, so what do I want to go for here? I feel like these are more north, but I might be trolling. I don't know. I'm sending I'm sending north. Just going with my vibe. It is basically 5k. One road over. That was a really good guess. Proud of that one. This one might be hard because I don't recognize this vehicle. Um, I think when I mean, we're definitely in a um, polar town of Canada or the US. Which one? Not 100% sure yet. I would like to see something to rule out Alaska, maybe. No fronts on most of the cars. There's an Alaskan plate, I think. There's another Alaskan plate. So actually... Hmm. Yeah, kind of tough. Because like this could be Prado Bay. Maybe. I don't really remember how the coverage in Prado Bay looks, to be honest. I don't know if they have a specific vehicle, but I think it's actually like Gnome, um, which has Tracker, and we're definitely on Tracker here, so it could be Gnome, or there, I know there's another town in here that also has coverage that could look like this. So I'm just going to send Gnome. That was correct. Lucky about that one, because I really wasn't sure. We got an India. Tiled roofs in India apparently are more of a here thing. Um, yeah, kind of indoor roofs basically. Okay, so that looks like Bengali, I would almost say. I mean, I'm not 100% sure on these languages, but it kind of looks like Bengali. Um, how do I tell this apart from Hindi? Honestly, I don't know. Like, it could be wrong, but it just kind of feels like what I see in Bangladesh. Uh, it's kind of hilly for West Bengal though, so maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's up here. I don't want to go there though. That seems very unnecessarily risky. So I'm just gonna hedge it in a part that doesn't speak Bengali, um, but like slightly towards West Bengal because I really want, don't want to commit here because it's so hilly. Um, I hope it's not east. Could actually be east. No, I don't think. No, no, no. Never east with these roofs, actually. Okay, I'm gonna send shotgun. Let's see. Ooh, it's north. Okay, decent score. Decent score. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense with the hilliness for sure. Let's see it. And we get another India. This poll sadly tells me nothing this time. So far, my India guesses this video have been really good, but I think. Everything's gonna come to an end at some point. Hmm. Yeah, I really can't tell much about this. It's just, uh, it's pretty generic. These trees feel like they're something, but I don't, I don't know. I don't really, yeah, associated them with anything. 
particular. This house with brick feels more northern, I would say. These as well. Like, I think we can rule out the southern part, so I think the best hedge would just be to go here. Yeah. Okay. It could be like Dry Rajasthan, it could be East, it could be like Maharashtra. But I feel like this is a decent hedge. Let's just see where we are. It is Rajasthan. I think we got it though. Okay, hedge trick two. So let's do another quick one with Brazil. No support beams, so probably thinking north. Um, no support beams, vertical, like diagonal. No diagonal support beams on the pole. More of a north thing, but um, there is a lot. It goes a lot more specific than that. Um, where are we? Actually, I don't really know. I'm just gonna click like Pernambuco and uh, see where we are. Sergipe, okay, that's fine. Oh, we got urban Russia. This will probably end our hedge streak here. A little bit hilly. Maybe we can get like an area code or something. It just says Produkti. Not helpful. No, I don't think we have anything. No, <sighs> that is just a cafe. All right. Tough. I think this is going to be a huge point loss. Cannot region guess this at all. I'm going Kazan. Okay, that was good. That was actually really good. We get an India forest. These are not easy to guess. Um, hmm. Might try... Chhattisgarh. This could be west. I think this part is most likely... Oh, you know what? It actually even reminds me of like a the road in like Arunachal Pradesh that goes to the mountains. Definitely not gonna go there because I don't really remember how it looks like, but it kind of reminds me of that. I just wanna mention it. I think I'm going Chattisgarh. Let's see where we are. Chattisgarh. Good. Nice. It's going going quite well so far. We got an arch. These bushes are very southern usually. Um, this road feels very recognizable, but I cannot think of which one this would be. It's the angle. I mean, no, I don't think it can be this. No, I don't think it is. Maybe something like that. I mean, this should be quite southern, I would say. So, yeah, maybe this road is a decent hedge. Let's see. It is correct. Nice. Actually, just like... With the amount of things I can rule out, I usually, yeah, I just get good guesses quite often, which is very nice. We got some Kazakhstan here, and we just road angle guess this. This is definitely west, um, probably this road. Could be this road. How straight is it? Not super straight, so I think this stretch, then maybe over this stretch. Let's see. No. All right, still got the edge streak. Level up, <laughs> not that that matters for anything. And we get another, is this Arch or <laughs> Canada? <laughs> Check the sun, okay, it's Canada. My first wife was Buenos Aires province in Argentina, but um, that is quite wrong. I would say Manitoba with white signposts probably. Sask also has a lot of white signposts, maybe actually more than Manitoba does. Um, I might have been just trolling. All right, and we got some India with tea plantations. Tea plantations are quite north and all around um, Bangladesh. So there's a lot of Tripura, for example, as far as I know. And yeah, that's like here, here. I think I'm going east actually here. The thing is, it's possible that this is south. Is this actually tea? I think it's. it might just be rice terraces actually. Yeah, I think it's just rice. So actually ignore what I said, um, but I think my statement about where T is is still correct. All right, where do I go here? Um, I'm kind of liking East Mountains, to be honest. This is risky though. Uh, if it's just here, then I already basically lose. Yeah, I already lose, so that would be bad. 
The thing is, I see no palm trees, which makes me confident in this being here. Okay. We're still alive, technically. It's uh, not a good guess, though. Get another India as a treat. Alright, I cannot read anything. That's quite a complicated pole. Huh, interesting. Hmm, I think it's Hindi, or like Hindi script. I cannot tell apart the different languages that use that script. Um, yeah, I don't think this is, this is a Chile pole. So, honestly, I don't know where to go here. I don't know. My vibe is telling me a little further south, but this might be completely wrong. Uh, actually, further south would not use this language. Um, <laughs> so my vibes were off. <laughs> where do I go then? Madhya? Maharashtra? Maybe Maharashtra. Yeah, I can see that. Let's 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 try Maharashtra. It is Maharashtra. Good. So we are still alive, but we need two great guesses. Uh, I think this is Brazil. I mean, the road lines look more Brazilian than Mexican. This car can only be in the two of them. Yeah, so I would assume this is Brazil, and we still need a very good guess here. I think I just honestly just click like this area. Super green. Maybe like this area. That makes sense. Let's try that. It is way further south. Okay, I briefly considered that, but that concludes our head streak. Last round of the day, India. Um, not sure where this is either. We're like kind of in the mountains. I think Eastern Mountains is a good shot, which I missed last time. Maybe it's Western Mountains. It is, well, right mountain range, but way further south. All right, so I think overall this went pretty well, except for this last seat. Um, we got five out of eight, I think, 20 Ks, which is good. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and tune in today.